All right, here's an integral for you. And first of all, I don't know what this negative seven is doing here. Let's pull it out. And okay, now I feel a little bit better. Let's see if we can use integration by parts to solve this. Taking some cues from some previous videos, typically if we see a natural log in a problem, we've been choosing that as our u. Differentiating that gives us one over x squared minus one. And the chain rule says we have to multiply that by two x. That gives us a du of two x over x squared minus one dx. All right, this thing's looking pretty bad already. But looking back at our original integral, you'll notice that the only thing we have left for dv is dx. At least that simple, we get v equals x. Then rewriting our original integral using the integration by parts formula gives us u times v minus the integral of v du. All right, we can simplify that integrand that we have left just a little bit. Now, I think it was just three videos ago that we had a result similar to this. We ended up with an integral of a rational function, and the degree of the numerator was greater than or equal to the degree of the denominator. What that typically tells us is that we need to rewrite this integrand using long division. So the setup looks like this. And there aren't going to be too many steps here. We just have to ask the question, what do we multiply x squared by to get x squared? And the answer is 1. Now multiplying this 1 through the divisor gives us x squared minus 1. Subtracting then is going to give us a remainder of positive 1. So that tells us that we can rewrite x squared over x squared minus 1 as the quotient plus the remainder over the original divisor. Now we can replace the integrand up here with that result and let's see what we get. Okay, we might have a bit of an issue here. But let's split this integral up into its two pieces. Now the first remaining integral should be pretty straightforward. However, this integral right here requires a technique that we haven't learned yet. It is coming up pretty quick on my list of integration techniques to talk about, but integrating this here is going to be a partial fractions problem. And although we haven't talked about this yet in the videos, I guess I'll leave you a couple notes down here on how these partial fractions work. And I will refer you to some future videos where I talk about this technique. But to complete this problem, I will do those partial fractions. What that does is it splits up our integral that we don't know how to do into two smaller integrals that we do know how to do. Ultimately, we get the natural log of x minus 1 for one term and the natural log of x plus 1 for the other term. I'm going to tack a C on there. I'm going to box this thing up. I'm going to call that the answer. And I'm going to say, go check out some of the videos. They're going to be in this very playlist about partial fractions. And that algebra that I did in yellow there will make more sense after you watch those videos. So I guess you have a lot to look forward to is what I'm saying. Well, I hope that that video helped you out and I will see you next time.